Hello and welcome back to The Longest Journey. We have just heard the whole story about the balance and Stark versus Acadia and we have to find four pieces of some kind of medallion like thing so that we can get the balance back in order. So that, oh wow. Okay, I, um, wow, I don't know why the ring is there, but okay, there we go. So, yeah, we were looking at all of these and talking to the priest who gave us the full story of everything. Excuse me. Vestrum Tobias. Do you know a man named Brian Westhouse? West House? That old goat? Yes, unfortunately. What would you with him? I need to find him. I do not know where he lives. I hear somewhere on the outskirts of the city by the sea, but I cannot tell you any more than that. And that's the guy that we need to get back home. Who'd know about West House? His whereabouts? I do not understand what you would with him. He is rude, uncultured, and ignorant. Cortez told me to look him up. Well, I do not know where he lives or frequents, but someone at the market may. He trades merchandise there, and I think he collects gnats of the Northlands. Okay. What did you say I should see about West House? The map merchant at the market may know. There is one thing I must tell you, however. Few would know Westhouse by his real name. Oh. In the city, he is known as the Rolling Man because of his strange two-wheeled vehicle. A most dreadful and dangerous contraption if I ever saw one. A bicycle? Perhaps. It has a grotesque appearance, much like the Westhouse himself. Boy, this guy doesn't like what him do at you all. Cortez? Your mentor? What has he told you about himself? Not much. Nothing, in fact. He's a complete mystery to me. To learn something about someone, the best way to go about it is to ask them yourself. There is nothing I can do to enlighten you. But who is he? He is who he is. What he is. If he has not told you himself, then perhaps he does not wish you to know. It would be improper for me to divulge his secrets. You're as bad as he is. No offense. It's just frustrating. I understand. The next time you see him, tell him what you have told me. Maybe he will tell you the truth, maybe he will not. It is his choice to make. Okay, um... Do you mind if I ask you some questions about Arcadia? I will try my best to answer any question you may have, April. What's the history of Arcadia? There is so much he I just do not gave know it where to, to begin. Us. In truth, it would be wiser to ask someone else, unless you wish to know about the Fathers, the Balance, or Mudhoppers. Mudhoppers? <laughs> we say I it together. Passion. I study them. They are a most fascinating species. Most fascinating indeed. But I'm not practically versed in the intricacies of history, I'm sorry to say. Hmm. Although you just gave us the whole history, but okay. What's Mercuria like? I have lived in this city all my life, and still it amazes me what a diverse, exciting, and wonderful place it is. Many have called Mercuria the jewel of the Northlands, and they are right. But it is a diamond in the rough. A city this size can never be flawless. There are always shadows and people who hide in them. Lately the shadows have grown and darkened, and I fear for the future. But Mercuria is still a wonderful place to live. Okay, um... What are the Northlands? What are the Northlands? The Northlands is a collective term for all the lands north of the Great Sea. 
and south of the border mountains including Irie, Tyron, and Khorasan. Before, however, the word Northlands was used to describe this entire continent, including the territories north of the mountains and the icy waste beyond that. Some still prefer the latter interpretation of the name, and to the people of the Southlands, anyone hailing from north of the Great Sea is a Northlander regardless. Hmm. Okay, um, well, we have enough about this. Irene. I read means both unification and assembly in high tongue, and many still call I read the unified country, even though it is an age and a half since the lands of the north joined together in alliance. I read stretches from the plains of Nedra in the north to the Great Sea in the south, and from the territories of Tyran in the west to the thick woodlands in the east. It is populated by humans and Dolmare, Tyran and a number of other races. It is even said that a tribe of Venar have a ring of trees in Riverwood, though I am not sure that is anything but a myth. Hmm. Well, we might as well finish what else it off. Can you tell me about Marcuria? Marcuria is the capital of Irede, the unified country, and we are located on the southern coast of the Northlands, halfway between Tyran and Khorasan. Between the Snapjaw and the Gaintby, some might call it between the embers and the fire. Hmm. Yet democracy and peace have reigned for thousands of years now, and although relations may at times be strained with our tyrant neighbors, the High Council are masters of diplomacy. And Lord Igvan Delen is a firm and just chief counselor of the Iredan flag. Thanks for the information. I'm glad I could assist you. Okay. Um How am I supposed to get back to Stark? The only way to get back is through a shift. You are a shifter, April, and the power to travel between worlds is within you. It might be within me, but it doesn't look like it's coming out anytime soon. I wish I could help you, but I cannot. You must find the path on your own. Of course. I think that's it. I think we're I'll good. I'll see you later. You will? If you say so, then it must be true. <laughs> he doesn't understand euphemisms. Okay, well, let's go talk to some of the people here in the stalls again. But we did get quite a bit of information from him, so... I think we'll talk to this guy. Maps. Can you tell me where the rolling man lives? Maybe, maybe not. Why? Because I need to find it. Sorry, guild rules. Uh, I'm not allowed to divulge any personal information about my customers. Maps. Hmm. Do you sell maps of the city? Can't help you there, miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though, from the city of Tyron to the Bay of Fire. Maps! Um... Where can I find the Guild of Tourism? They're closed for the holidays. Sure, that makes sense. I really need to know where the rolling man lives. Sorry, can't do. Please? Pretty please? No, 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 young lady. Don't give me that doe-eyed look. Don't. Ah, blasted be the balance. You're giving me that doe-eyed <laughs> look, aren't you? <laughs> I still can't tell you, though. I got maps. Okay. I'm looking for Brian Westhouse. Briar West of House? It's not on any of my maps, and I've never heard of it. Maps! It's a man, not a place. Mr. Brian Westhouse. I would most certainly remember a name as queer as that, and I don't. Get your maps while they're fresh. 
Hmm. Please tell me where the rolling man lives. No, can't do, miss. Uh, I can't divulge personal information about my customers. Oh, I can't force him into it? You're late again! And you know what else? You're fired! Give me back the delivery list and get your sorry blue skin elsewhere! Uh-oh. Hired hell. Bah! Never hire a Domari to do a human job. What are you gonna do now, without a delivery boy? And hire a new one, of course. Ah, uh, blasted be the balance. That means I'll have to pay the damn fee to the Guild of Merchants' damnation. Maybe I could help you out. You? How? I'm quick, honest, and reliable. And I've got a lot of experience in the service industry. Hmm, perhaps a female errand boy could work if the Guild of Merchants don't find out. <laughs> I won't tell them if you don't. Mind the pay is not much, only a single errand per delivery, plus whatever tip the customer may see fit to give you. Oh, well, we can I'll do it. I'll take the job, if you want me. Agreed. Maybe you'll even bring in some new business. Here's the delivery list for today and your first map. It's for the captain of the White Dragon. Nebebe, I think his name is. You'll find him in the harbor. Okay. So we've got to go deliver this map oh, now. Remember to have the customer sign the delivery list. The guild are sticklers for protocol. No signature, no money, no new jobs. Bye now. Maps, fresh, detailed, life-saving maps. All right. So let's head on into the city then. And we are going to go, we can go right to the pier. That's nice. How are you today, then? Like you care. Is this the White Dragon? That's what the big white letters on the prow spell out. What do you think? Boy, he's I'm looking just for the captain. not very Is nice. He around? What would you with the captain of the White Dragon? I have a delivery for him. A map from the map merchant at the temple market. Hi. I be Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon, fastest vessel there ever was. Hand the map over, girl. With Jarl's blessing, the wind will return soon, and I can leave this accursed harbor for sunnier shores. Okay. Let's see, is this the map? That's the delivery list. That's the map. Thank you. There's an errand for your trouble. Great. But now we have to have him sign the delivery list. Sign this, please. What is it? I need your signature to confirm that you've received the map. Map? What map? The one I just gave you. Oh, that one. Sorry, I never put my signature on a piece of paper. Please sign it or I won't get paid. I just gave you an errand. That should be enough to cover it, I. Forget the money. That's not why I need your signature. I need you to sign so that I can keep my job and hopefully find a way home. Sorry. But it brings bad luck to give a piece of yourself in that manner. A signature has untold powers. It's part of your soul. I can't sign away my soul. Oh my gosh. Who told you that signing a slip of paper is bad for your soul? I'm from Guyenne, and we're a spiritual people. Our souls are in balance with our bodies, and the great Mojal has taught us not to endanger this balance. 
Signing my name, giving a piece of myself in that manner, breeds corruption and imbalance within. And it pisses the Mojol off no end. And that's why you choose to make my life difficult? Hey, blame organized religion. <laughs> you can't write, can you? Pardon? That's what this is all about. You can't write. Uh, so what? So what if I can't write? So what if I was born at sea and never spent more than a month ashore ever since? I still won't sign your accursed paper by Jal. Yes, you will. Look, all you have to do is sign an X next to your name on the list. You can't trick the great Mojal. The Mojal's untrickable. That's not trickery. It's legally binding. I said no. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Is there anything I can do to get you to sign? No. Well, yes. But, no. Look, Captain, I'm desperate here. I really, really need some kind of signature. Well, there's always music. Music, aha. Uh -huh. What's music got to do with you signing my list? Nothing. But it distracts the Mojal. Okay, so we go what to that music merchant. About? Why would you need to distract the... the... Mojal? I can't sign when there's a chance the Mojal is watching. Music distracts the Mojal. Ergo, I can sign. But doesn't that mean the Mojal is always distracted? I mean, there's always music somewhere in the world. The Mojal has an eye and an ear for every acolyte. And straying from the path can bring great wrath upon us. Granted, I know very little of the Mojal. But seriously, maybe you should look into alternative religions? Blasphemy! Besides, I only have to visit the temple once every two years, and the membership fees are quite reasonable. <laughs> so, if I play some music, you'll sign? Aye. I'll give you that much. Okay. I'll be back. I don't doubt it for a second. Nope. Okay, let's go. Well, I didn't want to go to the small pier. Give me the other choice to just the pier. Okay, let's come down here. Am I coming? Where am I? the way down here to the music person. There we go. Let's run. What's your, um, most affordable instrument? That's cute. The flute, right? And how much for the flute? I'm guessing that's one Aaron. Well, come on, let me do something. You sell him a flute for one Aaron, I think. That's a trumpet. He's selling musical instruments. He's selling the flute for one errand, I think. Okay. Oh, do I have to give him the errand? Maybe that's it. I'll have the flute. That's one errand, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Okay. As luck would have it, I actually know how to play a flute. 
Not very well, but I'm sure the uh, Mojo won't mind. All right. Let's go back to the captain. No, not the small pier. The ship. Okay, Mr. Captain, Mr. Captain. Hello. Uh -huh. Bye. Now we're going to play a flute. Oh, excuse me. I'm ready to play some music if you're ready to sign. Aye, go on. But don't stop until I'm done signing, or the Mojo will surely wreak vengeance on us both. Okay. Here you go. And don't ever ask me to sign anything ever again. Okay, definitely I can not. I much guarantee you that. Let's go back and deliver this. We don't want to go to the small pier. Is that my only choice? City. Okay. Quite a busy little harbor, isn't it? Okay, we're going back to the marketplace. We still need to get some kind of magic or something so we can beat the game. I'm ready for my next job, sir. Yes, yes, good, good. Uh, did you get the captain's signature? I sure did. Yes. Hand me the delivery list so that I can see for myself. You know, you remind me of somebody I know. A real Scrooge. Uh-huh. Good. Uh, what's a Scrooge? Maps, new revisions, lifesavers, maps. Let's give him this. See, we weren't lying. Right. Your next assignment is a map of Shangagriel to the Rolling Man. Hold on. Did you not ask me about him earlier today? Yep. Um, no, no, that wasn't me. That was somebody else. I could have sworn, well, no matter. Uh, do you know how to get to the rolling man's house? I forget. Uh, let me explain then. Now, pay attention because this is complicated. He has chosen to live in the most inaccessible place in the city, but I guess he has his reasons. First, you head west off the marketplace on Oak until you get to a tiny little apothecary, Mrs. Cassop's Herbs and Oils, where you turn north on South Street, confusing that, for about four minutes of brisk walking. That's when you see a, a large grove of trees. It's a memorial to those who died in the last war with the tyrant back uh, the balance knows when. Can't see why they choose to remind us of that. We, you'll turn left. That's west? No, left. That'll take you back south, but onto North Street instead. And that keeps you out of the Dalmari neighborhood. Down that way, nasty, nasty neighborhoods. 
<laughs> keep walking south or about, or was that north? Wait, wait, north on South Street, south on North Street, or the other way around. Anyway, find the Rose Bridge off uh, I Reed Avenue and cross it. There's uh -huh. a river? No, just a bridge. The river disappeared 500 years ago. No one knows what happened to it. After you've crossed the bridge, you'll be on the western slopes of Mercuria. And that's where West House... I, I mean, the Rolling Man lives. No, far from it, but you need to pass through that part of Mercuria oh to get goodness. to the Rolling Man. Keep south and watch out for the livestock. They're likely to attack in that part of town. Eventually, you'll get to a large circular square. That's where they used to hold executions back when the city was civilized. You call murder civilized? Better than locking people up for years, as any level-headed person would tell you. Our freedom cannot be curtailed. Real men choose the honor of death to the shame of incarceration. Okay. Yeah, sure you do. Circle around the square and head down Tendak for half a mile, or should that be Parrick Lane? Yes, Parrick Lane. Head west on Parrick Lane for uh, half a mile, then turn right at the Maiden's Honor Tavern. North again? Uh, no, west. Uh, Parrick Lane has a few twists and turns. Anyway, you should now be able to see the Ivory Tower. Is it a big tower? No, only about five feet tall, but it's ivory, straight from the coast of the Southlands, bravely cut from the drooling jaws of the gruesome Kandar. Big creature, okay. four legs, large ears, long snout, sort of grayish in color? Yes, the horror of the Southlands. Many a brave hunter has fallen victim to its ravaging hunger. Good grief. Okay, then what? Pass by the tower to the edge of the cliff and look down. The rolling man has built his home on the cliffside. It's a wonder he's not been washed away by the storms. <laughs> I hope I got all that. Basically, go west until I hit the edge, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, that would be correct. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Let's head on out then. I'm gonna go this way now. I see I still head out there. Okay, West House's bungalow. But we got there fast. Great view. <coughs> back home, a place like this would easily set you back tens of millions. Here, it's probably free. Hmm. That's probably Mr. Westhouse. Hello, Mr. Westhouse? Damn, Mason, what is it now? Oh, oh. <clears throat> Guess you're not, uh, you're not calling on behalf of that... Son of a bitch sent you for him. Sorry, I don't know who... No, no, that's very unlikely. From what I hear, he doesn't much enjoy the company of women. Well, who in damnation are you? April Ryan, sir. Ryan? <laughs> doesn't sound very Northlandian. Are you by any chance from the coast of... You hold on. Ryan? April Ryan? <laughs> I'll be damned. You're from Stark. Yep. Apparently. Until today, I thought I was just from Earth. I had no idea there were two of them. <laughs> Takes you by surprise, doesn't it? Well, goddamn. Sit down, Miss Ryan. Let me get you a drink. Okay. The liquor over here stinks to high heaven. <clears throat> Magic pollutes the purity of the spirit, but I keep a bottle of Glen Fittich for special occasions. Thanks for the offer, sir, but I didn't come here to have a drink. Really? I see. This isn't a social call. No, sorry. 
Oh, no matter. It's still a pleasant surprise to meet someone from home. <laughs> now, <clears throat> what may I do for you? As he keeps on drinking. Cortez told me to look you up. He did, did he? I see. <clears throat> Who's Cortez? Oh, boy. You don't know him? I think not. I'd certainly remember. Did, did you say Cortez? You, you wouldn't be talking about old Manny Chavez, would you? Well, he ought to be dead by now, but then, by all rights, uh, <laughs> so should I. I don't know his first name, but he calls himself Cortez. Tall fellow, mysterious and elusive, rarely answers a question with a simple yes or no. Smokes like a chimney? Aside from that bit about smoking like a chimney, it sounds exactly like Cortez. Manny. I'll be dead. That old crook is still around. <coughs> How the devil is he? He's good. Where do you know him from? Oh, my old life back in Stark. We had some exciting adventures, him and I. Actually, he's part of the reason I ended up here. I last saw him in the winter of 1934. Wow. But that's almost 300 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? And I'm sure he doesn't look a day older than he did back then. The handsome devil. <laughs> well, if I'm going to accept magic in parallel worlds, I might as well accept people living 300 years. Oh, no, you misunderstand. <clears throat> I'm only 46. I arrived here about 15 years ago, but I, I left Stark in 1934. Between the worlds where you dream, time has little meaning. I was trapped, you see, for, for quite a while. For 300 years? Time went by pretty fast. It didn't seem so bad at the time, but now that you mentioned 300 years... Quite disconcerting, really. Quite disconcerting. Okay, let's see. I have a delivery for you. A delivery? When did the U.S. Postal Service start delivering mail to Arcadia? <laughs> it's from the map merchant at the market. It's just a map. Oh, good. I've been waiting for you. Hold your horses. What are you doing working for the guild? Are you planning on staying in Mercuria? I'd strongly no. advise against it, Miss Ryan. Arcadia may look like a pastoral fairy tale realm, but it's not. You bleed as easily here as you do in Stark, and magic can do more damage than a gun. I'm not planning on staying, but I had to find you. The map merchant was the only one who knew where you lived, and he wouldn't tell me. So I got him to hire me, and you were the second delivery on my list. Dear gods. Carrick and his misguided loyalty. I'll have a word with the man. Thanks for the map, though. I collect them. There's not much else to do in this godforsaken city. <coughs> okay, we have to have him sign our thing. Cortez said to look you up when I wanted to go back home. To Stark. Now, why would he say that? I'm not a shifter, and I, I don't know any magic. I'm sorry, Miss Ryan, but you'd be better off asking the Sentinel priests for assistance. Already did. They said I was on my own, that they couldn't help me. Bloody typical. Those reactionary fools wouldn't extend a hand to help a drowning man if it violated the principles of their bloody balance. But I can't think why Manny would tell you to visit me in order to shift home. It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. How did you end up here in Mercuria? <laughs> That's quite a story. I won't bore you with the details. But suffice it to say, I was always somewhat of an adventurer. The promise of virgin territory untouched by civilization held great sway with me in my youth, as did the idea of a highly spiritual state of mind, the occult, magic, karma. I was born in 1902 in Boston. By the time I was 17, I'd put that life behind me. 
I spent the next three years at sea, and then I wandered around Europe for a time. In the early 30s, the 1930s, of course, I found myself in India working as a journalist. That's where I met Manny, and that's where I first heard of Arcadia. I was amazed and quite skeptical at first, but the thought of a whole new world to see and magic? <laughs> I was a fool, of course, but who knew where my curiosity would bring me? Okay. So what happened in India? I've tried to forget about it, to be honest. If I could go back and convince myself not to... Oh, but I still wouldn't have listened, of course. The unknown tracks. Yes, I ended up in Tibet in the winter of 34, wading through snow up to my chest, thinking for sure that this was it, and I was going to die. Manny pulled me out of that one, thank God. I spent three months in a monastery before pushing on into the void. There's only one way for a non-shifter to pass through the divide, and it's not an easy road to take. Now, if you don't mind, <clears throat> I'd prefer not to talk about the past anymore. There's more than enough to worry about in the present. I should get going. Very well. You're welcome back at any time, Miss Ryan. Any time. Except you need to sign Thank my you, paper. Thank you, sir. I'll remember that. Yeah, I need you to sign this. Sign this, please. It's just to confirm that I made the delivery. Certainly. Oh, good. He's not going to be giving me a hard time about it. Okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to look at it. B. Westhouse. He signed it B. Westhouse. They're not going to like that. It's Brian Westhouse's signature. A map to the lore Northlands. Hmm. Okay. Let's take it back and let's tell him he can't sign it that way. Whoops. Exit. Grab it. Okay. Hello, Mr. Westhouse. Back again so soon, Miss Ryan? Well... I should get going. Okay, right. I guess we have to go back. And then he's going to say, this is the wrong person. Hold on one second, Miss Ryan. I just remembered something. It's such a long time ago, I'd almost forgotten, but Manny did give me something that might be of interest. What is it? It's a pocket watch. Manny gave it to me the last time I saw it. I, I wonder if that's what I used to shift with. Maybe you can tell me. Did he say anything about it? He said that when his heart started beating again, he would know. It would be like a message in Morse code, a beacon. Hmm. The damn watch never worked, and the winding mechanism is broken, so it's probably not worth much. You're welcome to it, if it's any help. Thanks. Okay. Pocket watch. Let's look at this pocket watch. It's an antique pocket watch. It's not ticking. The knob used for winding the watch seems to have broken off, and there's only a tiny hole left. Well, let's reset our watch then. If I insert this pin carefully into the hole, like so, and then slowly wind it, it worked! It's ticking! Cool. Oh, yay, and there's our portal. I did it! It's a shift! I can go home! By God, it's a shift. I haven't seen one for ages. Why don't you come back with me, Mr. Westhouse? You could say hello to your old friend, Manny. 
If I tried to step through that, Miss Ryan, I would suffer a most unpleasant experience. And I would be lost in the between forever. Besides, I built this house with my own two hands. I wouldn't want to leave it to these barbarians. And what does your Stark have to offer me? This world is more recognizable to me now. Hmm. Now you go ahead, Miss Ryan. Go back. And don't let your curiosity of the unknown tempt you into making another shift. Thanks for your help. Say hello to Manny for me. Tell him... Tell him I'm doing all right. And then I said... Thanks. Okay, we're back. Oh, and Cortez is right there waiting. Cortez. Oh, God, it's real. It's all true. I saw it. I saw the other world. Arcadia. Either I'm going crazy or you were right about everything. Let's hope for the latter, eh, mi amiga? So I gather your trip was a success. Success? My whole world has been turned topsy-turvy, so I don't think success is the right word. Nothing about it makes sense. Fact is, I don't believe in magic. The sun does not need you to believe in it to rise in the morning, senorita. You have seen the truth with your own two eyes. I can do nothing more to convince you. It is up to you now. Well? Do I have a choice? I have to believe at least some of it. My life wouldn't make much sense otherwise. You are a true skeptic, April. Está bien. We need your kind to balance the hopeless romantics like myself. What happens now? The Minstrom told you about the balance. About Stark and Arcadia. A man named Tobias? He was called the Vestrum, I, I think. Vestrum Tobias. Ah, so Tobias made Vestrum get Yang good. I knew he would go far when I first met him years ago. He was just an instrument then, a student of the balance. But he was smart and resourceful. So you know what is going on with the balance. Tobias told me that the... Guardian? That the Guardian was missing and that the balance was failing. He said this would bring chaos into both worlds. As we are already seeing... Your dreams, your nightmares, they are part of this. You sense chaos more keenly than most, but even they are beginning to notice that things are not as they should be. Like last night. What about last night? What you saw. You were not alone this time. There were others. And they saw the same thing. Not nightmares anymore. Real. The first sign of the damage chaos can do. The divide is being breached. <coughs> it is okay. not yet time for the worlds to be united. A breach could prove catastrophical. Well, we don't want a breach. Who are you really, Cortez? Excuse me? People knew you over there in Arcadia. Tobias. He didn't know you by your real name, but he did know you. And Mr. Westhouse, he knew you too, as Chavez, but several hundred years ago. So my secrets are being revealed, are they? I wouldn't say that, because you're still a mystery to me, or so. Good. You see, senorita, mystery is important. To know everything, to know the whole truth is dull. There is no magic in that. Magic is not knowing. Magic is, is wondering about what and, and how and where. I'd hmm. for the truth just to be able to know you. Because, uh, honestly, I don't mean this in a bad way. You scare me, Cortez. I'm afraid of you. And you are not the only one, mi amiga. I'm sorry, but whatever it is about me that mystifies you, it will have to stay a secret. There are... there are things even you should not know. Gee, thanks. That really helped. <laughs> Perdóname. 
perhaps later, when we are certain of what the future holds, okay? I think I can promise you that, Senorita Ryan, later. But for now, we must speak of more important matters. Okay. You helped me back, didn't you? To shift? See? The power is yours, yes? But for now, you need me to focus your powers to call forth your dreams. Dreams? Yes. To travel from one world to the next, you must pass through the world of dreams. It is the only way. You are capable of opening a shift on your own, but you might not be able to. What do you mean? The power. The magic is within you. And when you sleep, sometimes you open the portal without even being aware of it. But when you're awake, it's more difficult. With practice, you will do it. I don't think I want to do it. You must. The worlds depend on it. So what do I do? We must work together, April. I can't do it alone, and neither can you. But what exactly is it that we have to do? Four things. We must find the Lost Guardian, we must locate the gateway to his realm, and the disc that is the key to his tower, and we must do what we can to curtail and defeat the Vanguard. Oh, wow. Um... How are we going to find the Guardian? The moment he surrendered his throne and left his realm, he stepped back into our world, this world, Stark. This is where he was born, and so this is where he must return to. But he could be anywhere, right? This city has power, April. Not magic, but the opposite of magic. And it draws people to it like flies to an open fire. All the pieces of the puzzle come together here. You, me, the vanguard, the Guardian. I can guarantee you that he's here. But where exactly, I do not know. I think maybe the Vanguard do. I think they may have him. Uh-oh. If they have him, how are we going to get him back? And why do they need him? Why do we need him? He left his realm, but he's the last Guardian. And only he can open the doorway back to his realm to let his successor through. The Vanguard knows this. But what they don't know, yet, is how to get there. Okay, this is all very interesting. Um... Who'd know about the gateway to the Guardian's realm? That, I do not know. That knowledge wouldn't be here in Stark. You must go to Arcadia, study the books, talk with the Minstrom and others who might know. But not yet. First, we must finish our mission here. Okay, um... Where is the key to the Guardian's realm? In Arcadia. The key contains two parts. One is the disc itself. The other is the four jewels. The eyes of the dragons. That gives the disc the properties of the balance and makes it complete. Okay. So... Where is the disc? The disc was left in the care of the Sentinel <coughs> 10,000 years ago. In the beginning, it was kept in the open, displayed for all to see. But not anymore. Not since thieves tried to make away with it. They will know where it is. Ask Tobias, Vestrom Tobias. All right. Um, and where are the four jewels? Where are the four jewels? Ah, the eyes of the dragons. They are kept by the four dragons themselves. Two in Arcadia and two in Stark. The white dragon has one, as does the old one. These you must find yourself. Well, there was a dragon in I'll the academy. And how do we defeat the vanguard? How do we defeat the vanguard? The vanguard are strong here and growing stronger. Even in Arcadia, they are gaining a foothold. And with that tyrant on a leash, the future looks quite bleak. How do you know so much about what's going on in Arcadia? Voices whisper in my ear, Senorita. Voices that I trust. You're saying the Vanguard are strong here. How come I haven't heard about them? They don't go by that name here. Did you ever hear of the Church of Voltec? Oh. Sure. They're... Oh. 
That's the vanguard? See. Si. Then they are big, very big. But why do they... Why assume a different name here? In Arcadia, they flaunt their philosophy. They preach the destruction of the balance under the pretense of returning humankind to the glories of the past. Here, they cannot do that till they have integrated themselves slowly but surely into society under the subterfuge of the New Age religion and they've built a financial empire to match governments. They have that much money? The Vanguard own multinational companies. They own planets, April. They own armies. All they need is the balance and they will own everything. The twin worlds will be at their mercy. So, we basically don't stand a chance, do we, against an enemy like that? If we hold at bay the forces of chaos, and if we ensure the natural continuation of the Guardian's role within the balance, then they will have lost. How are we supposed to fight this chaos you keep talking about? You're the key, April. You have the power to shift, yes? But there's more to you than that. You are a child of the balance. And you... no, that will have to wait. By just being alive, you counter chaos. Without you, last night might have turned out much worse. That tiny breach might have been permanent. I didn't do anything. Then imagine the power you wield when you really do something. Trust me on this, Amiga. It's instinctive to you to fight chaos. You see it so clearly, and you will know what to do. You are most needed in Arcadia, where chaos is a part of reality. The tidal wave will hit there first, and unless it's subdued before it hits Stark full force, we'll never stand a chance. So you will have to travel to Arcadia after we are done here. Okay. Okay, so that's it? Kick some vanguard ass? Find the Guardian, locate the entrance to his realm, and a 10,000-year-old disc and four dragon eye jewels? And oh, April, make sure you do battle with the physical manifestations of chaos along the way, because hey, that's your destiny. It's impossible, Cortez. I can't do these things. I'm 18. I'm an artist. No, not even that. I'm nobody. You can't place all these responsibilities on my shoulders. I can't carry that much. I will help you, April. Others, too. You're not alone. Well, I feel very alone, and I can't even tell anybody about this. Yeah, hi. How are you? I'm the Chosen One. Can you help me save the world from evil and chaos? There is no Chosen One, April. There are only those who would and those who wouldn't. You have a choice between the two. Hmm. You said I had powers. That I wasn't like everybody else. True. But you still have a choice. Prophecies can never unravel the will of a single human. You are one of many possible paths, but unfortunately, most of the alternative paths have been blocked by... circumstances beyond our control. Hmm. The world does depend on you, but you have not been chosen. You choose for yourself what you are and what you will be. Okay, what if I choose no way? What happens if I choose no, no way? I am not a fortune teller, nor am I a Venar. What will happen? Something else? That's all I can tell you. Something else. But I'm sure it won't be anything good. Not unless you agree to help. But I can't do it. I'm not who you think I am. I'm not your savior. I don't have any magic powers. I'm just this girl. I'm just me. The choice is yours, April. As always, the choice is yours. It's not much of a choice, is it? For what it's worth? Perhaps not. Still, you need to come to the decision on your own. Then the choice will have to be... Yes, let's save the world. Where do we start? Here, in Newport. We must find out about the Vanguard. Their headquarters are in this city, but where? Do they have the Guardian under lock and key? What are their weaknesses? Once we've done that, 
You must travel to Arcadia. I cannot go there, and besides, I have things to take care of here. Right. Except, where the hell do I go to find out about the Vanguard? The library? The net? Valuable information is hard to find. Remember the painting I showed you yesterday? Sure. The artist. A boy named Warren. I told you about him, yes? Warren is involved in a lot of activities that um, aren't exactly legal. He has connections. He can point us in the right direction. All right, okay. Where do I find him? My friend, Father Raul at the Hope Street Cathedral, he's had some contact with the boy lately. Ask him. Wait, did you say Hope Street? Yes. As in the most dangerous neighborhood in Newport? Is it? <laughs> I don't usually follow the civic affairs of the city. I remember Hope Street when they first built it. A clean neighborhood. That must have been a very long time ago. Still, I'm sure you'll be safe. You're a girl, no? A self-respecting gentleman would never harm a girl. It's the self-respecting gentleman part I'm concerned about. Still, I can handle myself. Father Raoul, was it? At the Hope Street Cathedral? Yes. He will lead you in the right direction. Help you find Warren Hughes. When you're done tomorrow, you will meet up at the cathedral late in the afternoon. I need to speak with Raoul as well. Okay, good. It's a plan then? Enjoy yourself tonight, April. Who knows what the future may hold? Good night. Okay, so I guess... We head home? Do we go to the cafe? Shall we talk to Charlie? Pulling long hours today, Charlie? Unfortunately, yeah. Are you staying for the show tonight? What show? You don't know who's playing? I've had a... You have other things on my mind these past few days, Charlie. Sorry. Anybody good? Anybody good? Are you kidding? Roy and Dale's playing. It's the first gig on their new tour. Sort of returning to their roots before they do the big venues. Tonight? Ooh. Great, that's perfect. Especially tonight. I need some serious unwinding. Yeah? What's up? Um... I just had the weirdest experience of my life. Weirder than what happened here last night? Much weirder, trust me. I mean, what happened here could be explained. A hologram, rapture gas, mass suggestion. That's stretching it a little, don't you think? What? Rather than the alternatives? That we're all either going crazy or that something's breaking through from another world? You don't think that's stretching it? I don't know what I think, April. I just know that sometimes there are things lurking in the shadows that can't be explained by science. That the world holds more mysteries than we think. Maybe. So what's this thing you were going to tell me about the weirdest experience of your life? You wouldn't believe me anyway, Charlie. Try me. No, really, I can't. It's too much, too close. I don't know if I believe it myself. Okay. Cooper. You tell me about it later then, all right? Maybe. Um, when does the concert start? In less than an hour. I expect the place to be crowded soon. So you should find yourself a spot to sit down. Okay. Is Emma around? Haven't seen her. She knows about the show, so she'll be here. I Thanks, guess we're going to stay for the show? No problem. Later.
Oh, we're just going to automatically have a seat. And here comes Emma. So where have you been all day? You didn't show up at school, you weren't at work, and then Fiona tells me you're out looking for Cortez again. And on top of that, Zach brags about bagging a date with you. What's up with that? Oh, shit. Zach, I totally forgot. He's gonna kill me. If I don't show up, that is. You mean it's true? You have a date with that asshole? I told him he was full of shit. I needed some information. And you sell yourself to get it? April, you're insane. Well, you're just going to have to disappoint him. I made a promise. To that sleaze bag? That's a promise made to be broken. A promise is a promise. I have to go. There we go. Commendable, but incredibly misguided. He's only after one thing, you know, and that's sex. He can forget about that. I'll go, but I'm only staying an hour. I'll tell him I'm tired or Bring sick. Bring him here to the concert. Knowing Zach, he'll take that as an invitation to your bed. But I guess you've made up your mind. Go, have a good time. And good luck, you'll need it. Okay. Chapter 3, Friends and Enemies. Oh, God. Headache. And now you're pregnant because you had sex with Zach. Well, I don't I know. I didn't really have that much to drink. Did I? No. But I did travel through a shift into a parallel universe, which would explain this weird compulsion to curl up into a fetal position and go back to sleep. Not that I'm particularly looking forward to it, but I guess I have to go find that Warren guy Cortez told me about down on Hope Street. Okay. And hey, like that's not enough. I have to avoid bumping into Zack today. Last night's, um, uh, date is not something any of us should be reminded of, and I'm not just talking about the incident with the groping and me kicking him in the groin. Doesn't he get that no means no? <laughs> Apparently no. not. Okay, well, let's go down to Hope Street and avoid Zack. Who's going to be right outside the door, of course. What the fuck was your glitch last night, bitch? I'm sorry? What did you call me? I take you to a top-class club, wine you and dine you, and you slap me in the fucking face. Did you ask yourself why I slapped you, Zack? I don't fucking care. You'll regret fucking with me, bitch. I can promise you that. Well, no matter what she had done, then. What are you gonna do? You'll find out, April Ryan. You're gonna be so fucking sorry you ever fucked with me. Wow. He's the evil... Evil man. Still no Fiona, wow. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go to the subway, find this Hope Street, and talk to this guy. these weird noises. 